So back to school and back by popular demand, we have a pencil bag. This was such a big win with everyone, we just had to feature it again. And so we wanna show you how to pull this together because it might be something you wanna use even in your church classrooms where kids can be able to uh, keep things from week to week that you are working on, such as Bible verse cards, things that they uh, would be able to keep. Okay, so it just, it's a simple, Ziploc bag and I'm all about the great value brand <laughs> and if you want to just the duct tape goes on the edges So let's get started First of all the way that we did this one was with blue But here's some great colors to pick from and I'm gonna use this uh, The screen. Let me just show you what what we did first of all don't worry about the edges because you're going to cover the edges with another piece of tape. So when you go straight across, I know it's kind of loud, <laughs> sorry. So it goes straight across. I'm even going to tape it down a little bit. All right, top and bottom. Nice. And now I'm going to, I think I'll use the fish again. They're great. And put that across, we find the edge. Good. I want to make my fish swim this way, so that's best. Go right across. And I just tear it with my fingers. If you have trouble doing that and you mess up the tape, just cut it. It's just fine. So flip it over, and I'm going to do it again. So start with the green and go across. Your children might have trouble tearing it, I'm just saying. Then you can get some scissors and let them cut it so that they can make their own. It really is quick to make. All right, right across. And now the fish. Great. Okay. Super sticky. Stick that on. Great. Now that I've got that finished, I'm going to come back with my scissors and trim the edge. So I can see really easily the edge of the bag by pressing it right there. Might be hard to see on the camera, but I want you to, to know there is a line to follow. So I can cut right down that edge and trim it. And since the sticky sides are covered by the tape on both sides, it doesn't stick to your scissors, so that's nice. Let me press that out so I can see the edge of the bag. Super easy. Good. And now across. Very good. Now, there are some adventurous people like Matt who went ahead and used pieces of tape to decorate. And I really like the edge that uh, is added to each side. So let's go ahead and add that edge too, because that's pretty cool. And this is cool tape. So it's about that long. And I'm gonna go ahead, I know this is crazy, but I'm just gonna rip it down the middle, because it tears so easy, and add it to each side. Fold it over just like that. And then I can trim it again. It's super easy to do. Now, let me show you if you want to add some words to it, think about like stick um, or just bold uh, letters when you're printing it. And I think you'll get much farther with that. So I'm going to trim those edges off. Very good. And I'm going to just take a piece of tape and I'm going to tear it several times in order to get all of the links that I want. So here's one and I just tear it again, two, three, and look I'm trying to keep them, if I can, I'm trying to keep them about the same width and tearing it will be much better than trying to cut it when it's sticking and everything. So. Now I can add the name to it. 
and it's much easier. So for the, for the letters, I'll just trim them as I go. Right there. Right here. I know your children won't be quite this fast, but I just wanted you to see that it's doable if you want to do that. So, very good. Oh, you're so good, Mr. Mar. There you go. M. Oh, there's just enough there to make the crossbar of the A. Works out good for me. Great. So you get the idea of using the tape strips to make your letters. And even like the R has a round part, we can make a box out of that pretty easy. I think that it will work just fine. Right, and here's something to remember too. Let's say that this didn't have enough length on this R. It's just a little bit short. I cut it just a little short. That's okay. I can add a little bit to it right now, just with some scrap and make it a little bit longer. Works out just fine. So let's finish up the K and we're done. Three little strips. Here's the K. <laughs> there you go. Matthew, Mark, <laughs> do you get it? Okay, very good. Really great, easy way to make pencil bags that your kids can use at school or even in your classroom where they can add their Bible verse cards and stuff like that and keep them. Very fun to make, not too hard at all. I hope you'll give it a try. Check out all of our ideas and our books. We've got some great seasonal books and our Bible Skill Games books. I think you're going to like them. Use them in your classroom. Check it all out at mrmarksclassroom.com.